Figma used to be just a design tool. Now it's where you publish your website to. But it's brilliant or it's dangerous. In this video, I'm sharing my take on Figma sites, what excites me, what concerns me, and how we as designers can position ourselves in this new landscape. I use Figma every day as a designer, and when I first heard about Figma sites, my reaction was curious skepticism. We're witnessing a shift, design, prototyping and publishing all in one place. That's exciting, but also raises a lot of questions. Since the failed Adobe acquisition, Figma has been redefining its feature. And there's pressure. Framer is winning over visual designers. Webflow is still strong with developers. And new AI-powered tools keep popping up every week. The risk is real. Figma could lose its place at the center of the digital design process. And Figma Sites is clearly a move to respond to that. If you haven't seen it yet, Figma Sites lets you design and publish websites directly from Figma. In practice, it's everything in one place. Design, interactions and publishing. What's already available? One-click publishing, responsive layouts with breakpoints and simple navigation and basic interactions. Coming soon, you will have CMS and Figma Make, a dynamic content editor. But the code? Still a div soup. And accessibility is not great yet. And what about interactions? They are limited. It's not yet a production grade tool. The promise is powerful, taking an idea from brain to browser, all in one interface. It cuts creative friction, perfect for MVPs, landing pages or quick portfolios. But there are technical limits. The exported code isn't as clean as a developer's. It can't replace Webflow if you care about SEO or accessibility. And for complex websites, it's still far off. And about the subscription model, this feels like the start of a shift toward high-tier pricing. Just a heads up, are we heading towards a more locked-in Figma experience? Let's have a quick and simple comparison between tools. Figma and Framer, they are very close in vision, but Framer still leads in polish and robustness. The learning curve is similar, but Figma's advantage here is already where most designers live. Figma and Webflow, so Webflow remains the heavyweight for no-code production, especially for SEO and advanced control, but it's not as friendly for designers. But here's the thing, Figma's bet is deeper, they want to own the entire flow. Brainstorming, designing, collaborating, and now publishing. It's an ambitious vision, and a risky one if the ecosystems become too closed. And we still don't know how pricing will change. Will we need a whole new plan just to publish? We will see. This shift challenges to think differently. The designer who can also publish gains agility, autonomy and greater influence on the final product. For solo creators or small teams, Figma sites could be a real superpower. Even with its current limits, Figma sites can be useful right now. You can create clickable prototypes, personal sites, portfolios, landing pages or even presentations. And above all, it's a chance to develop a design to publish mindset. The more we learn to publish what we design, the more impact we create. Figma sites is still in its early days, but the direction is clear. Figma wants to be the place where everything happens. And that could change the role of the digital designer forever. If you're curious, explore it. Build a test site, play with the constraints. Even if it's not for production yet, just thinking from design to delivery already shifts your mindset. Do you think Figma will actually kill the competition or this is just hype? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious how you see this shift. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video and have a great day.